Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Back in 2016, a new note-taking app hit the App Store and it immediately won an Apple Design Award. Bear gathered a cult following fairly quickly because of its simplicity and its gorgeous design. However, in recent years, it's been overtaken as people's note-taking needs have changed. Applications like Notion and Obsidian have taken personal knowledge management to another level, and the simplicity of Bear became a bit of an issue because it was missing some key features. Well, now we have Bear 2.0, which is a far more complete package. It's available on Mac, iPhone and iPad. And today I'll be looking at the Mac version with you, although I will touch on the iPad version in a later tip video. Let's take a look at the pricing first. So new version, new price model. And if I go to the pricing link on the Bear site, the good news is there is still a free tier and it's going to give you local access to your notes and document scanning. However, when it comes to exporting notes from Bear, utilizing more than three themes, having different app icons and searching for text within PDFs and image files, you're going to need to have the pro version. And this is currently $30 per year. You also get a seven day free trial as well, just to make sure it's what you want. You're also going to need to have the pro version if you're looking to sync your notes between devices. Then as far as downloading the app goes, it's a simple case of going to the app store, searching for Bear and clicking download. So this is Bear 2 and we'll kick things off by taking just a brief look around the interface. Now, like many apps of its kind, it's split into three main areas. On the far left, we've got the sidebar, which is where our notes are organized. Now in this notes container here, we've got some default groupings of notes. So all notes that don't have a tag assigned are here in untagged. And I'll cover what tags are, of course, because they are key to how you're going to organize your notes. And then any notes that contain any to do items in there are listed here. Any notes that were modified today are in this one. And if you've got a pro account, then you can lock notes with a password and you can get to those here. And then of course, any deleted notes are contained in the trash. Now below that, we have our tags. And of course, we've only got the default ones here. And this welcome tag here is actually a nested one within the bear tag. And I'll show you how to set up nested tags in a little while. Then at the top there, we've got a button that will take us to the settings for the app. Then next to that on the right, we've got the note list, and this will show the notes dependent on what you've actually got selected within the sidebar. And when you click one, the content displays on the right. And then just click each one of these or use the arrow keys to switch between them. And I'm sure you'll agree these notes can look beautiful and it's no wonder this application has won awards. And one of the key selling points of the app is the ability to quickly link to other notes. So this know your note bit here is actually just a link to the know your note section within the get started with bear note here and work faster and easier with bear is a link to the work faster and easier with bear note. And finally, you can use the control button on your keyboard to remove some of these panes. So control one will remove both the sidebar and the note list. Control two takes away just the sidebar and then control three will show you all three panes. Let's create a note now, and this can be done in two ways. So first of all, you can come up to file and you can select new note, or of course you can use the shortcut command and N. And a blank note is in front of us and the cursor's flashing, waiting for us to add a heading. Now because Bear is great at supporting Markdown and we're gonna be doing a little bit of typing now in Markdown, I'm gonna call this note learning Markdown. And a heading is the largest possible one at the moment. And I know this because of the number one in the little heading block to the left of the title. But I can click that and you can see here I can change the size. So perhaps heading four here. And you can see that's much smaller. I tend to use that size for any subheadings that I have in my document. So I'm going to change this back to heading one. Now Bear does have full emoji support and they're very easy to access. Just type in a colon and then start typing what you want to see in your emoji. So I want to have a brain. And I tend to find this gives my notes and titles just that little bit of personalization and color. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.